All right, day one, infusion one. Don't know what to expect. I guess it kind of feels like my first day of school when I was younger and I hid in the closet <laughs> at my school because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know what to do, but my mom will be with me. And then halfway through my brother's coming, we're allowed to have one person in there with us. So he'll come because I'm there for eight hours. So my mom will go home and then my brother will come and then he'll take me home later. Hi buddy. Hi. You can be my cuddle bag. <laughs> um, you have to tell them something. Do you have something to say? You can't kiss me. My immune system's gonna be pretty much next to nothing, and you have a dirty mouth. But you know what? Mama is going to be taking lots of naps with you. Day one. Round one, infusion number one. I'm not feeling really anything this morning. It is quarter to six. We have to leave at 7.30. I have to check in at 8.15 and my pre-med start at 8.30. Here goes nothing. So I switched out my chemo bag and I'm using like a bigger duffel bag because I have a lot of stuff. Sure, I will realize I don't need all this stuff, but I would rather be prepared than to not have the things that I want. hair at your scalp to be soaking wet. No earrings. We want your part in the middle. Um, and then that, and then from there we'll go from there. Okay. okay. And then we'll get you some tiny I got towels. Towels. Maybe she should cool. cold water too. Huh? Huh? Cold water? It doesn't matter. Oh, it okay. It to be wet. And while that's happening, I'm going to prime your thing. Do you have your yeah. little card? Um, oh. Okay. It's right here, Diane. Okay, cool. Thank you. This just takes a really long time, so. Okay, have a seat, honey, and I'm going to, or however it's comfortable. Hold this till so this is gonna work. We I mean, want soaking wet at the at the scalp. Try it again. So it's like almost dripping. It's so wet.
to say I've been feeling this way for far too long And now you're gone Took me away from All right, I'm home from my first chemotherapy. I am so tired. I'm probably just gonna crawl into bed now and watch TV until I fall asleep. But it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Again, it asked me in a couple days, but, and I know that it, it gets worse and worse as you go, but I feel pretty good. We got started a bit later because we were waiting for pre-authorization for my insurance. It hadn't gone through yet. So there was a little like stressful moment where I thought that I might have to wait and come back later, like another week. But it worked out and the cold cap wasn't that bad. The, fir the worst part is like the first 10, 15 minutes when you're, you're cooling down and then your head's basically just numb. But you do have to keep it on for the whole time. I didn't think it was that bad. So, uh, I'll keep you posted tomorrow and through the weekend on how I feel. My port, Miss Natalie Portman, it's my dog, again, drinking water, um, is really itchy, but I think she's just healing, so. Anyways, I did it, I did it, I did it. And now, it's just gonna get harder from here. <laughs> But I did it. I'm proud of myself. All right, good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. I was feeling pretty good, and now it's about noon, and I think things are starting to wear off a bit, and I'm just laying on the couch, resting. I have a lot of pain in my pelvis, and I need to, my chart my doctor, because this is just too much. I feel a little groggy. Last night I slept pretty good and then about 3 a.m. I woke up wide awake and was on my computer for like an hour and then fell back to sleep though for about two and a half hours, which was really nice. They said that the steroid they gave me might keep me up for a couple days, but I felt like I got a good amount of sleep. And now I just get a ride the wave of post-chemo blues. <laughs> because I feel like all I've done the last four months is just lay on the couch and rest and I just want to do and create and work and it's hard it's hard to surrender into rest it's uncomfortable and I just I'm not very good at it <laughs> hi book Nope, can't go upstairs. Ooh, but you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be yesterday. I slept most of the day. They gave me so many different stuff that um, I got oxycodone for the pain in my pelvis and then I got Benadryl and Benadryl always knocks me out. So I slept from like the moment that kicked in. Like I slept all throughout 
the Taxol. I didn't have any bad reaction to it. And then the Carboplatin, I was kind of in and out. And then my mom left and my brother came. Then the Keytruda was like no biggie. And then um, honestly, the cold cap wasn't that bad either. The first 15 minutes were uh, the worst because it was like cooling down your head and you had to get like used to that. But um, it wasn't bad at all. And in fact, I had to go off my estradiol, my hormone therapy. Uh, so I've been having hot flashes. So it was kind of nice to be honest. <laughs> but I'm just gonna rest today and just if I get a spike of energy, then I'll go maybe work in my shop for a little bit. But my main priority is just resting. So I'll see you tomorrow. So it's day three, post chemo. I'm tired. I'm starting to get neuropathy in my left hand, a little bit in my right. Um, I'm having horrible pain still and my pelvis in my back and more nausea, so I'm trying to be really on top of my anti-nausea medicine. This sucks. And honestly, I got a comment from somebody that said they were unsubscribing from my channel because they don't understand why I'm sharing something that should be private. And then they left another comment saying, and the fact that you care more about your hair loss than you do about the cancer itself. It's just bizarre and it really bothered me. I know that I need to develop a thicker skin. I've been thinking about it all morning and hi, I know I love you too, but I'm trying to do this. Okay. You wanna be in this? I'm moving in my lap. Oh, here comes the other one. My monsters. I guess my response to that is, why is it that it's okay for us to share all of the joyful moments in our life on social media, but we have to hide these parts of our life? That doesn't make sense to me. This is just as much if not more of a human part of a living than any of the good parts if you've ever been into a cancer center there are just there are so many people going through cancer and why wouldn't we share these parts so that we can all connect and whether you understand it or not doesn't matter if this makes me feel better to share and it lands on the ears of people who need to hear it or need to see my experience so that they don't feel like fish out of water because <laughs> that's what you feel like, then I will share until the day I die. It's also very therapeutic for me to talk about this. It's like we are expected to like hide away in our little cancer caves and pretend like this isn't happening to us and show up in the world with big smiles on our faces. But this is freaking miserable. I'm only on round one of this and it's only gonna get worse. And this is miserable. I don't get why people have to be so freaking judgmental about what other people or about how other people choose to show up in the world. I don't think this going through cancer has to be a private thing and I don't understand the mentality that people have to like hide away how oh, I hide all of this stuff away like I'm gonna probably lose all my hair I have numbness in my hands and my feet um, my pelvis and my back are on fire and my teeth hurt why do I have to keep that in to make these people who are uncomfortable with it more comfortable that's such bullshit so if any of you are uncomfortable with this conversation, don't follow me, don't subscribe. That is totally fine. I'm gonna show up here exactly as I am. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the fact that I am not hiding away 
and that I'm choosing to show up in the world and say, here I am in all my messiness. And my life is not perfect. And I'm not perfect. And I'm in pain. And I'm scared. And sharing about it all helps. So, I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. Because, yeah, I don't know. So, thanks for watching.